James and Mandy, ecstatic after years of saving, were finally about to step into their first home together. The spacious house, complete with a backyard perfect for future children, seemed straight out of their dreams. Little did they know, this supposed haven held secrets darker than they could have ever imagined. Before we embark on this captivating journey, we kindly invite you to show your support by engaging with our content. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, and leaving a thoughtful comment stating, I've subscribed. Additionally, if you find this story as inspiring as we do, don't forget to share it with your loved ones. Your support means the world to us. Five years after tying the knot, James and Mandy Pfizer, along with their furry companion Scout, finally purchased their dream home in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Bidding farewell to their rented apartment with a mix of relief and anticipation, they eagerly loaded their few possessions into the moving truck. Their new house, a spacious two-story haven, promised ample room to grow and create a home filled with cherished objects and memories. While exploring the brightly lit kitchen, Mandy noticed an inconspicuous floor hatch, unseen during the earlier tour. A surprise detail, it appeared firmly locked with a sturdy bolt. Intrigued by the hidden space, Mandy called out to James, their eyes meeting in a silent understanding. A shared sense of curiosity sparked, and they hatched a plan to unlock the hatch and uncover the secret hidden beneath the floorboards. An unsettling aura clung to the antique cupboard the previous owner had left behind. Scout, their dog, whined and growled incessantly whenever they neared it, his fur bristling in discomfort. The realtor, mentioning the house belonged to a childless old woman, offered no explanation for the bulky piece. While the cupboard held a certain charm, its worn finish screamed for a fresh coat of varnish. As Mandy began moving it for the task, a startling discovery came to light. A hidden door, firmly locked, concealed behind the cupboard. Why, she wondered, would anyone go to such lengths to keep this doorway a secret? The mystery gnawed at her. For weeks, Mandy embarked on a relentless search, scouring every corner of the kitchen, even turning over the contents of the antique cupboard drawers, all in a desperate hunt for the elusive key that would unlock the hidden chamber. Mandy and James, exhausted from a day of unpacking and rearranging furniture, finally settled into their new home as snow fell gently outside. Eager for warmth, James flipped on the heating system before snuggling under the covers with a book. Mandy, perched at the bedside, caught a whiff of something unusual. The smell, faint but unmistakable, grew stronger, prompting them to explore other bedrooms. However, Scout, usually eager to follow, remained rooted by the bedroom door, whimpering and refusing to enter. The scent persisted, creeping into every room they entered, finally solidifying their fear. Something was terribly wrong. The next morning, James, determined to solve the mystery, faced a daunting task. The pungent odor seemed intricately linked to the heating system, intensifying each time he switched it on. Frustration mounting, he meticulously tested every vent in the house, each one revealing nothing out of the ordinary. The source remained elusive. Every room reeked except the living room, curiously devoid of a vent. This anomaly, a single room untouched by the odor, sparked a new question. If not the ventilation, then what was the source of this pervasive, unsettling smell? James, defeated, realized the investigation was beyond his capabilities. This called for expert intervention. As he secured the final vent cover in the home office, a glint of metal caught his eye. It was a key, nestled deep within the vent. A light bulb went off in Mandy's head. The key. It belonged to the hidden door behind the antique cupboard. With trembling hands, they unlocked the forbidden passage, their anticipation tinged with dread. Inside, darkness enveloped them, punctuated only by Scout's frantic barks echoing from the living room. Armed with a flashlight, they descended into the unknown, a mix of fear and morbid curiosity pulling them forward. The basement revealed a forgotten world. Dusty wine barrels, antique furniture whispering forgotten stories, and wooden chests that once held secrets now lost. The chests lay empty, leaving Mandy with an unsettling question. What treasures or horrors had the old lady chosen to keep hidden within them? Disappointment hung heavy in the air. The basement, once a beacon of hope, offered no explanation for the enigmatic odor. Dejected, Mandy recalled the other puzzle residing in their kitchen, the locked floor hatch. Just as her thoughts turned to it, 
James caught a glint of metal reflecting faintly in the dim light. Hope rekindled, they discovered a makeshift key and used it to pry open the heavy hatch. Inside, an assortment of peculiar jars, seemingly filled with preserved food, greeted their eyes. A weathered box sat beside them, brimming with old recipes, their pages whispering culinary tales of the past. Scout, ever the watchful companion, resumed his unsettling growls, adding to the air of unease. One unassuming object, however, piqued James's curiosity. A rolled-up parchment felt heavier than it appeared. As he unfurled it, his eyes widened in surprise. It was the house's original blueprint, dated 1887, revealing a hidden history beneath their feet. They meticulously packed everything back into the box and hauled it out of the hatch, saving the exploration for after dinner. Mandy began setting the table, but a chilling howl from Scout shattered the peace. His piercing cry, unlike anything they'd heard before, sent shivers down their spines. A wave of unease washed over Mandy. Just as she turned to leave the kitchen, the familiar putrid smell returned. James confirmed the heating system was off, leaving them in a state of bewilderment. Memories of ominous horror films, where unsettling odors accompanied demonic activity, flickered in their minds. This, however, was their reality. The once cozy home now felt strangely menacing. With a shared sense of apprehension, they fled the kitchen, seeking refuge in the dining room, where the smell seemed faintest. Mandy, forcing a smile, reassured James they'd tackle this new mystery in the morning. For now, dinner and a good night's sleep were sorely needed. The morning broke, casting an unsettling light on the previous night's events. Neither James nor Mandy felt well-rested, their sleep plagued by a disquieting sense of unease. James, noticing the distress etched on his wife's face, resolved to bring some cheer. He built a crackling fire in the living room, its warmth chasing away the morning chill. They retrieved the box from the floor hatch, the weight of the unknown heavy in their hands. As they compared the old blueprints to the realtor's copy, a knot of tension formed in their stomachs. Discrepancies were evident, raising more questions than answers. Just then, Scout erupted in a frenzy of barking, his gaze fixed on the same unassuming corner of the living room. Curiosity peaked, James pulled back the carpet, revealing an unexpected sight, a vent. Unlike the others in the house, this one wasn't marked on the new blueprint, but was clearly visible on the old. The discovery sent shivers down their spines. Scout's relentless barking, coupled with the hidden vent and discrepancies in the blueprints, painted a picture of an unsettling truth hidden beneath the surface of their new home. With trepidation gnawing at their hearts, James immediately contacted a team of professionals the next morning. The vent, unlike the others, defied their attempts to open it. It was then they braced themselves for what awaited within. The professionals, after much effort, finally pried open the vent. The sight that greeted them was far worse than they could have ever imagined. Jars filled with putrid liquids lined the space, their contents sending a wave of nausea through the room. But the most horrifying discovery lay amongst the jars, several animal carcasses and bones, their presence sending a tremor of fear through James and Mandy. The maintenance man, upon arriving, offered a grim explanation. He revealed that such discoveries were not uncommon in old Victorian houses within Pennsylvania, remnants of a local healing tradition called powwow. He explained how animal parts were used to blend elements of religion and belief with the practice of healing. While unsettling, it offered some closure suggesting the previous resident may have desperately sought healing through these unorthodox methods. Faced with the gruesome reality, James and Mandy knew what they had to do. They made the difficult decision to remove the jars and carcasses. The stench that had plagued them began to dissipate, and with it, a heavy burden lifted from their hearts. Their dream home, though forever marked by this unsettling discovery, held the possibility of a peaceful future. Their top priority now was to ensure Scout felt safe and comfortable, and perhaps to seek a blessing from a different source entirely. They would rebuild their sense of security, brick by brick, and carve out a life filled with love and light within the walls of their once mysterious home.